Welcome, Cancers. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back with another video. How are y'all? I hope everyone is doing well. All right. I hope everybody is doing well. I'm looking for it. There we go. So let's talk, guys. Let's talk about December. I'm a little late. I'm a little late on December readings, but it's okay. We're going to get it popping. All right. So let's do this monthly and see what's coming towards my cancers. Cancers. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am the Empress. I would love to have you here as a part of our group here. Go ahead and click the bell to subscribe because you don't want to miss out on future videos, okay? So let's talk. As well, guys, if you want to uh, check out the website, um, that information is going to be below in the drop box. Ooh. <laughs> I also have a promo code for you guys for you guys to get 15% off, okay? So that information is going to be in the drop box below. Mm. Lots of air energy. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, or you could be taking on this energy. Mm. Let's see. Lots of air energy. Lots of air. Y'all are in your head. Okay. Are y'all trying to make somebody regret something? Regret being in a relationship or getting in a relationship or something to that nature. I don't know if it's you spying or somebody here is spying on you. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Well, I'm definitely getting that there is some spiteful queen of fire. Some of y'all is uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I'm really picking up on Aries' this energy. Light of fire, yeah. Um, very risky energy. Why is the queen of fire here? Lots of fire, three of fire, ten of swords, and the ten of earth. Some type of ending here, some type of cutoff. For some, it's a divorce. Something didn't work. A marriage didn't work. A relationship, a third party situation may not have worked out. Somebody here is spying. Definitely, I'm picking up on Leo. Picking up on the Leo here. You could be realizing that this burden is heavy as hell to carry, okay? And you're ready to release. Some of y'all are ready to let a situation go. It's too burdensome. It's too much. It's too much conflict, okay? It's too much drama. You're now realizing that, okay? So you could be carrying this queen of air energy, okay? You could be cutting people off, cutting this person off like it ain't nothing. There's more air energy, okay? So someone's getting ready to speak their truth or someone has already spoken their truth, okay? Night of water, yeah, okay? About someone's marriage here. Someone's marriage here or... Um, someone's relationship or something to that nature. Someone here could have been giving someone some money, you know, uh, doing favors for Pete for this person. Ooh, but somebody most definitely is juggling. Okay, juggling between two lovers here. Lots of ace of air here. Five of Earth. 
someone's been rejecting someone's calls or someone is going to call is going to be rejected okay somebody's here tries to change change make some changes here okay it's like the the will is shifting okay the circumstances are turning or shifting i'm sensing some type of shift here okay the moon pisces or cancer's energy but there's just like this hidden agenda here Nine of Earth, okay. So you're focused on your pentacle. You're doing very well. You're thinking about yourself. You're putting yourself first, okay? But I feel like you're in your head a lot, okay? Yes, I'm just getting that somebody here is fighting for a spot, okay? Somebody here is fighting for a spot, a position, the world. Somebody, a chapter is getting ready to close. Possibly with a fire sign, a water sign. Ooh, somebody's about to get a real big wake-up call. A real big wake-up call about a fire sign, okay? King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Somebody's about to get a big wake-up call. Okay, it doesn't necessarily have to be a fire sign. They could have that type of energy in their chart. Okay, but somebody's about to get a real, somebody's in for a real big awakening. It could either be this fire sign that's in for a real big awakening or you are in a real big awakening. Okay, we got three here. Okay, the three of earth. There could be someone here in a third party situation. Or somebody's about to find out that they're in a third party situation. Okay, and the strength card, Leo's energy. Okay, lots of fire here, night of fire. Somebody could be, uh, you know, a player here. Some of y'all are dealing with a player. Okay, four of water. This is somebody who's just kind of like, you know, not, not happy, a little sad. But intuitively, okay, we got the High Priestess and the Two of Swords. It's kind of like you have an idea, but you aren't sure, okay, if if you were a part of a third-party situation or if this person is cheating or if somebody they have somebody on the side. But I think they do. We got the Empress here. Somebody here has somebody on the side, okay? Somebody got something going on on the side. But I feel like you, you, I feel like you know. I feel like you may know this already. You have an idea. Like, you kind of, like, can sense it. Additional messages are there for my cancers. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got that high priestess again. Yeah, we got that three of pentacles and that ace of wands. Let's see what's going on. Hmm. Let me pull all the cards first. Um, and we're going to get into it. Yeah, see, some of y'all, y'all are spying, okay? Y'all are spying on somebody, possibly spying on somebody's marriage or relationship. Could be definitely be like with a Leo. Um, but someone here is like getting a whole bunch of, you got your, like your attention is on this leo possibly or this libra gemini aquarius okay but i do feel like a lot of y'all are busy at work 
or working or you're, you're working towards something. But I feel like some of y'all are overthinking. You don't want to overthink, okay? And you don't want to have to ask this person because you don't want to have to regret it. But you want to know about a third party here, okay? Why is the Ace of Wands here? Yeah, see that Three of Swords? And the King of Wands. I'm, I'm picking up Sagittarius' energy. Some of y'all know this already. You know, you know about it already. Okay? I don't feel like it's a big secret. Your intuition is telling you to keep your guard up, and you should. Okay? You're waiting for this person to apologize or you're waiting for this person to reach out. This person may go MIA. Yep. You're waiting to see what this person has to say. If they regret something, if they regret, you know, hanging out with the friends too much, partying too much, sneaking off, being sneaky. There's a third party, whatever the case may be. Okay. You're waiting for to see if this person is going to regret it. But this person feels like they are their own person, okay? They're grown-ass man, woman, and they, they're real arrogant, and they do what they want to do, okay? Just putting that out there. Five of Wands, there was a big blow-off in the past, okay? The Tower and the Five of Wands, it's like out of the blue. It was just like a dun dun, dun. It was just like a whoop. And this is your energy, Queen of Cups. Yeah, see, some of y'all... We in. Yep, you got some shocking truth. Some truth came out, okay? You may have found out that this person is married, okay? Or living with someone. Some of y'all have did some spying, okay? You've done some spying. You've done your spying. You got the research. Some of y'all are going to some reader. And y'all got the tea tea, okay? Y'all got the tea. You found out this truth. You were surprised when you got this truth. This truth came, and then you see you it worried you a little bit, it had you up at night. But some of y'all found out that somebody lives with somebody, is already in a commitment, or is married. And you feel betrayed, and you feel like, don't bring your ass back here. Ten of Swords and the Knight of Wands. A lot of y'all are dealing with the Leo. I'm getting Leo or Sagittarius or Aries. Yep. You want this person to stop coming running back back and forth in your life. Okay. Let's see, we got the chariot. You're right, you're waiting to see where this is going to go. We keep definitely picking up on Sagittarius. You want to see if this person is going to pick up the pieces or if they're gonna go ghost. Definitely you could be dealing with the King of Wands, Leo Sagittarius, Aries. Yeah, you're waiting to see if this person is gonna come running back. Okay. You want, to, you want to see if they're coming right back because you want to see if they got other options. What are the other options? Okay. I'm telling you, this person is, you know, they're very controlling. They're very, you know, ego-based. I'm getting, I'm picking up someone's husband. Okay. I'm getting like, I don't know who's married here, who's in a relationship, but I'm picking up a marriage here. Yeah, so I'm getting feel bad that they have to make this final decision. So they're feeling pretty bad, but they're trying to stay in control of their emotions. But they're feeling bad that they have to make this final decision. Like this decision has to be made, okay? They could be at a distance from you, okay? Someone here, um, maybe you're hoping that this person needs you, asks you for something or whatever, or you could fear that. But I feel like maybe you feel like, you know, You'll need me again, and I'm gonna do you bad. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk my mess about you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna show you. Wait till you need me. You gonna need me for something. Cause the outcome is the nine of pentacles. Like you are good. Like some of y'all are gonna leave out of this single. Okay. The will of fortune. You know that's that's fate. Okay. 
That's fate. That's the way the tables turn. And um, some of y'all, okay, need to go do some healing and some soul searching, okay? And go ahead and close this chapter. Close this chapter because you're dealing with a liar. And this person loves attention. Like, this person is a liar, a cheater, sneaky. Like, they're just too sneaky, okay? They, they're just too sneaky. You'll be better off focusing on you, okay? You'll be better off focusing on you. Now, this could be you or this could be vice versa, the other way around. Now, we're going to do a quick little, uh, see what they want to say to you. And then I'm going to let you, my cancers go head on out. All right. So, what do they want to say to cancer? My higher self is trying to reach you. I don't know what to say to you. Can you accept me as I am? I'm going to contact you because I need to speak to you. And I'm ready for a fresh start with you. All right. So those are the messages that I have for my cancers. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. All right. I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao for now.